As a working class woman, I often don't see myself within the artistic community and what I'm interested in reflected. Um, I think when I first started studying photography, it really struck me how little kind of female working class voices there were. And one of the reasons I kind of wanted to do this project and wanted to explore it in the way that I am was I wanted there to be that kind of authentic voice. And I feel like when we kind of look at class or speak about class, it's often not that voice who gets to represent their own experience, but also not that voice who kind of gets to question, like, what is it to be working class in this area and what does that mean? I'm not someone who's the most verbal person, let's say, like I'm quite a quiet person. And photography allows me to speak in a way that words sometimes can't and it allows me to explore issues that I'm really interested in, in a, a visual way. And again, I don't think photography necessarily brings the answers to the questions that I have, but I think it helps me resolve them. For me, class is a really multi-layered thing. It's really complex. It's not just an identity marker. And it's often really minimised within our society so that we don't address the systemic kind of damages that it does. Because of this way that it is multi-layered, it couldn't just be my ideas about class and my thoughts and my beliefs. It had to come from all the women that I'm working with. And whether that was through kind of long conversations that we would have, walks that we would go on where we would discuss class issues, all of these things built up to the photographic work were the kind of behind the scenes elements. Being working class just means different things in different places. It doesn't just mean living in a council house and being on benefits, which is what everyone thinks it is. It doesn't mean people who don't work. People think, oh, well, working class people don't work. It's like, well, no, they probably have like five jobs. The class thing isn't, it's not about your wealth and your income, it's kind of who you are and the values that you have, I think. But that's what this did. It made us it let me ask those questions and reflect on things that have always bothered us, like how I speak and the way I've tried to like change myself to blend in. And there's loads of little things where I've not fitted in over the years and my class and where I'm from is probably the biggest one. We already kind of have that trust with each other, so the way we talk about class and income and the issues and the way we work together has been really strong and it's really opened up a new kind of facet of my practice. And I feel like for me, it, it became this really strong community element which reflects really what the work is about and about that kind of solidarity with other working class women, which was really important to the work. I think one of the things that it's definitely made me do since is speak to my daughter Ma about all of the different jobs and getting and pointing out to her more all of the different jobs that people do. Because when I've spoken to her about stuff, she she would still say I'm a girl farmer and not just a farmer. So yeah, it's been interesting then getting to show her yeah just some more of those things and try break down the stereotypes with her a little bit. I can never kind of anticipate really the, the audience's reaction, but there is also like a part of me and a part of this work that is kind of melancholic because we've lost that kind of community. There's a part of me that is angry because it's constantly overlooked. What I'm doing is asking the audience to ask questions about their perceptions of class. And for me, that is, really important in society that we do that. Even though I live in a place like this is really beautiful and kind of scenic, it doesn't have a network in terms of a creative network. There's not places to kind of go to show work or to develop in that way and I kind of felt a little bit stuck. And I think the most exciting thing about this award is it's not continue on with what you do already. It's about change and growth, and that is what I want to do. I want to grow my practice and experiment. Before I was kind of juggling commercial work with assignments, with your own work, and with um, a job that kind of sustained your arts practice, and sometimes when you're juggling all those things, the one that goes to the bottom is often your personal work because it's the one that isn't helping you kind of escape that situation the most, but it's also the one that probably requires the most time out of all of those kind of 
walls that you're juggling. And I think with Jared Fairworks, it's, it, it says, it's someone saying like, I believe in you and your work and it is important and I'm giving you the chance to make the work that you want to make. And this is your kind of chance to have that time and space to do it, which sounds like a simple thing, but I think for me, it was really valuable in thinking, well, I can take those risks. I can make the work that I want to do, or even that I can be an artist, the artist that I want to be.